3I Atlas is on track for an encounter with Jupiter's irregular moon Euphime on March 17, 2026, when it will come within a mere 30.46 million kilometers of the massive planet. But this is no ordinary celestial event. As 3I Atlas hurtles toward Jupiter, it's poised to unleash a series of gravitational interactions that could rewrite the rules of space dynamics. Could this close pass trigger the birth of a new moon around Jupiter? Or is it possible that 3I Atlas is more than just a cosmic traveler, perhaps an object with a purpose, deliberately heading toward this precise moment? With every new piece of data, the mysteries surrounding 3I Atlas grow deeper, and the questions begin to mount. Is this an extraordinary natural occurrence, or is there something far more calculated at play? This approach to Jupiter's gravitational domain will not only bring 3I Atlas closer to one of Jupiter's lesser-known moons, but could also set off a cascade of gravitational effects. The object's proximity to Euphime is particularly intriguing. Euphime, a small, irregular moon, is part of a group that orbits Jupiter in highly elliptical and unpredictable paths. These moons are thought to be remnants of a parent body that broke apart long ago, their orbits scattered by the immense gravity of Jupiter. For an object like 3I Atlas to enter this region at precisely the right time and trajectory raises more questions than answers. Could 3I Atlas's journey be more than just a random occurrence? Could its path have been set in motion with this encounter in mind? The specifics of this event are being closely monitored by astronomers, who will rely on advanced telescopes and spacecraft like Juno to collect data. But the encounter's potential goes beyond mere observation. Theoretically, this close interaction could trigger a process where fragments of 3I Atlas are captured into orbit around Jupiter, potentially adding a new moon to the planet's already vast collection. This wouldn't be an ordinary capture. The precise timing and alignment required for such an event would be astronomical rarities. The object's pass near Euphime, along with its careful alignment with Jupiter's gravitational influence, suggests that something far more unusual is occurring. Is it the result of natural forces, or is it the outcome of a perfectly orchestrated cosmic maneuver? The possibility that 3I Atlas might leave behind debris or interact with Jupiter's moons adds a new layer to the mystery surrounding this object. Such an event would not just alter our understanding of the Jovian system, but would also challenge the very foundations of astrophysics. For now, scientists are waiting to see whether any new moons will be formed, or if remnants of 3I Atlas will become part of Jupiter's irregular satellite system. This could be the first time in history that such an interaction is documented, making this upcoming passage one of the most anticipated events in astronomical history. Since its discovery on July 1, 2025, 3I Atlas has become one of the most intriguing interstellar objects to be observed by humanity. While interstellar objects like 1I Oumuamua and 2I Borisov piqued interest due to their origin beyond the solar system, 3I Atlas has distinguished itself by behaving in ways that are not just unexpected, but seem to defy the very laws of physics. These anomalies are not isolated to just one or two peculiarities. They span across the object's trajectory, its jetting behavior, and its very composition, all of which raise fundamental questions about what we know about interstellar space objects. 3I Atlas's behavior is so far outside the norm that it has led some researchers to seriously consider the possibility that this object may be something engineered, either by nature or by intelligent design, rather than simply a natural comet or asteroid. The anomalies that surround 3I Atlas are extensive, but perhaps the most intriguing is its precise trajectory. Unlike the seemingly random paths taken by other interstellar objects, 3I Atlas follows a highly aligned path through the solar system. Its trajectory is aligned to within just 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where most of the solar system's planets and smaller bodies orbit. The likelihood of such a precise alignment occurring by chance is incredibly low, leading to the suggestion that there might be something more at play than just gravitational forces. Could this object have been sent to Earth with a specific purpose in mind? Was its path intentionally guided? Alongside this odd alignment is the timing of 3I Atlas's approach. Its journey has been characterized by a series of strange, well-timed events. Its approach to Mars and then Jupiter, combined with its near disappearance from Earth's view behind the Sun, seems almost too perfect to be a random occurrence.
such a precise trajectory is almost unheard of, leading some scientists to wonder whether it is merely an incredible coincidence or part of something much larger. The object's arrival in the solar system seems almost too calculated to be the product of nature's random chance. Equally bizarre is the sunward jet emitted by 3I Atlas. Unlike most comets which eject gas and dust in a broad, diffuse coma, 3I Atlas has been seen emitting a narrow, focused jet that points directly at the sun. The jet was visible before perihelion and has continued even after the object passed the closest point to the sun. This is highly unusual for a comet which typically loses its jet once it moves away from the sun. The persistence of the sunward jet suggests that there are forces at play other than the typical sublimation processes we associate with comets. In fact, the jet's consistency and narrow focus raise the question of whether it could be artificial, possibly controlled by some external mechanism. Moreover, the gravitational deflection 3I Atlas underwent at perihelion is another anomaly. Normally, objects passing close to the Sun experience gravitational perturbations that alter their trajectory. However, despite a deflection of about 16 degrees, 3I Atlas's jet remained perfectly sunward. This deflection, coupled with the persistence of the sunward jet, is not something that traditional cometary models can easily explain. Most comets would experience a significant shift in their outflow direction following such a gravitational influence, but 3I Atlas held steady, hinting at forces beyond natural comet dynamics. The object's rotation axis has also raised eyebrows. The spin axis of 3I Atlas has been observed to be aligned within 8 degrees of the sunward direction. This alignment is exceptionally rare, and the fact that it remained unchanged even after perihelion defies the behavior of most space objects. The likelihood of such alignment occurring by chance is so low that it leads researchers to wonder if this alignment is part of a larger, orchestrated mechanism. Another anomaly is the composition of 3I Atlas. The object's gas plume contains an unusually high concentration of nickel relative to iron, which is unlike typical comet compositions. Nickel, a metal commonly found in industrial alloys, is not a typical component of the icy bodies we usually associate with comets. This raises the possibility that 3I Atlas might be something more than just a simple comet. Its composition suggests that it could be the remnant of a much more complex object, possibly one that has been engineered or altered in ways we don't fully understand. The object's speed also stands out. It is traveling much faster than typical interstellar objects, and its extreme velocity is accompanied by a trajectory that seems too precise to be purely natural. The object's speed and its highly calculated path through the solar system raise the possibility that it was directed here, rather than being a random passerby. This lends further weight to the theory that 3I Atlas is no ordinary cosmic wanderer, but could be an engineered object. Adding to the intrigue, 3I Atlas also exhibits extreme negative polarization of reflected light, a feature that has never been seen in another comet. The way that light scatters off the object is abnormal, suggesting that its surface has unusual properties. In addition to this, the object brightened rapidly as it approached perihelion, much faster than expected. Most comets gradually brighten as they approach the Sun, but 3I Atlas's acceleration in brightness and its bluer color when compared to the Sun is yet another anomaly that challenges traditional comet models. These anomalies, its trajectory, jet behavior, rotation axis, composition, speed, polarization, and unusual outgassing patterns make 3I Atlas one of the most scientifically perplexing objects ever observed. Though it is often classified as a natural comet, the sheer number of deviations from typical cometary behavior makes it impossible to ignore the possibility that 3I Atlas is something altogether more complex. Could it be a fragment of a larger artificial object, or even a piece of alien technology? While this remains speculative, the anomalies make such a theory difficult to dismiss outright. The continued study of 3I Atlas promises to provide new insights into the mysteries of interstellar space. As the object approaches its closest point to Jupiter in 2026, and as more data is collected, the questions surrounding it will only grow. Will we eventually confirm that it is a simple natural object, or will we uncover something far more extraordinary? 
Whatever the outcome, 3i Atlas serves as a powerful reminder that the universe still holds many secrets. As we continue to study this fascinating interstellar visitor, we may find that the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos are not as solid as we once thought. In the years ahead, as 3i Atlas fades into the distant reaches of space, its legacy will likely persist, pushing the boundaries of astronomical study and forcing us to confront the unknowns that lie at the edges of our universe. If anything, 3i Atlas proves that even the most well-understood areas of science can be shaken by unexpected events, and in the vastness of space, there is always more to discover.